As an actor, stepping into your very first lead role in a feature film can be equal parts thrilling and terrifying. It can either make you or break you. And how you conduct yourself during your time on set will have a massive impact on your rehirability as a lead in the future. Welcome to Pointers from the Pros, a new limited series in which I, me, Aaron Fullen, <laughs> bequeath to thee, the world, or a portion thereof, great advice that I received from a credentialed crew of directors, producers, and actors uh, before I stepped into my very first lead role in a feature film earlier this year. The best part? It's free. Your card will not be charged. Today's episode is presented in partnership with Treasure Coast Talent, which is a SAG-AFTRA franchise talent agency agency based in Los Angeles, California, who just so happens to represent the star of today's show, me. <laughs> just kidding, it's not me. It's Isabel Elmoyan. Isabel is an uber-talented actress whose credits include, but are not limited to, Finding Tony, Bringing Back Christmas, Camp Hideout, Running the Bases, and Life Mark. I met Isabel briefly on the set of Bringing Back Christmas, and I was immediately impressed by how she conducted herself on set. She knew her lines, she knew her character, she was a joy to be around on set, she had a great rapport with the cast and crew, and she took her job very seriously. So when I found out I booked my first lead role, I knew Isabel was one of the first people I wanted to reach out to and seek advice from, and I'm very glad I did. Here's what she said. Be professional. You set the tone. Yes, yes, yes. Whether you like it or not, the people around you will be taking cues from you, both verbal and nonverbal. Even if your body language says, I'm annoyed, stressed, impatient, etc., it will have a negative impact on the environment of the set and the morale of your fellow cast and crew. So do what you can to set the tone and create a low stress, high enjoyment set. Find the balance between fun and serious. There's a time for both on set, but an imbalance of either one can be detrimental. If you're a stick in the mud and intentionally isolate yourself from the rest of the cast and crew, even for good reasons, you probably will come across as a diva. If you're a goofball and laughing incessantly between takes holding up filming, you'll probably come across as unprofessional. Find the middle lane between those extremes and take it. Everyone is equal. We're all working toward the same goal. If you allow your ego to view your role as the most vital to the success of the film you're working on, then you will be a nightmare to work with. Everyone on a set needs each other, and the healthiest sets you'll ever be on are the ones that are most aware of that fact. Be grateful. Be humble. Just because you're number one on the call sheet doesn't mean you should act like you're number one on the call sheet. Do yourself a favor and write that down. Underline it. Say it to yourself every morning before you head to set. Your humility will take you way farther than your pride ever will. 1 Peter 5.5 5 says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. You want favor from the creator of the universe? Be humble. And that, my friends, as they say, is that. If you're enjoying this series, please drop a comment and say so. Give it a like or share it with an actor friend or 12. I'd really, truly appreciate it. Next week on Pointers from the Pros, actor, writer, director, etc. Brett Varvel. You're not going to want to miss it. <laughs>